Yes, we are doing the last problem in this uh, section of uh, chapter 12. So final method problem 1238. And this is probably the better one of this chapter, um, just because it's, it's kind of fun. So uh, we have an athlete running with a constant speed of 2 meters per second. He's no Usain Bolt. Determine the angular velocity at which the camera must turn in order to follow the motion. Right. So pretty much we're trying to this camera has to keep up with this guy. So here they're giving you a few clues. So the athlete is running with a constant speed of 2 meters per second. So V is 2 meters per second. Okay. Um, so that means the camera, remember it's speed, so it's not the, uh, it's not the velocity, right? It's the speed. So that, it's just the magnitude, all right? Of, of multiple components, right? So the speed of this camera too has to meet, so let's see, if camera V of runner has to equal V of camera, right? And we know the components of the camera, right? If we were to write it as vector, we know it has two components. It's got a VR component, right? In the, so I believe the book has it like you know, U notation for unit vectors, right? And then V theta in the theta direction, right? So we know those two components, the magnitude of those has to equals two meters per second. All right. So the hardest part of this problem is probably getting the derivative of the cosecant because I definitely don't remember. So I'm just gonna, I you go to the tables, look for it, uh, you know, Knowing it off the top of your head, it's not going to mean anything a couple of years from now. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. So determine the angular velocity. So they're giving us the position vector of uh, the runner, All right, measured from the camera. So we're given R equals 30 cosecant theta. Okay? And I remember, like, probably... Algebra, calculus one, that's probably when you had to do this. Uh, so derivative of this, of, of cosecant, um, so let's just do derivative of cosecant theta, right? It is minus cosecant theta cotangent theta, okay? That's, that's what the, that's what the table, uh, says okay so let's just do a chain rule here just like we've been doing r theta sorry r dot is equal to dr d theta d theta dt right so now we're going to have 30 derivative of this respect to theta we already just we calculate up here so it's minus cosecant theta cotangent theta just gonna put brackets times d theta dt which is theta dot okay and uh, hmm I don't have any information on this theta dot right that's what we're getting angular velocity at which the camera must turn in order to follow the motion so this this is gonna be our, our variable we're trying to look for so what else are we missing? Um, so we know VR is R dot and the transverse component is R theta dot. Okay. So let's do this here. So we know this is going to be 30 times minus cosecant. Uh, let's, you know, pi over 4 cotangent pi over 4 times theta dot and then over here we have r is 30 cosecant theta so 30 cosecant and then theta is pi over 4 <coughs> oops I forgot one thing and then times theta dot 
okay times theta dot and the, and that's all all right so now we know that v right which is two meters per second has to equal to the magnitude of these two components so oof let's see um, this one is 42.43 theta so I haven't made any mistakes in my theta dots in my calculations and then here we have 42.42 theta dots okay so that's 42.42 theta dot squared plus what's the other one 42 plus or 42.43 theta dot squared okay and then all this when we you know the, the theta dot squared can be factored out which is just going to be theta dot um, but ultimately we're going to get 59.998 theta dot okay and then theta dot is equal to 2 divided by 59.998 which then we get 0 0.033 radians per second okay remember theta dot theta double dot are always expressed in radians per second and radians per second squared respectively okay versus r dot and r double dot are expressed in meters per second or feet per second and meters per second squared or feet per second squared all right so again this was probably the trickiest one because they're you you're kind of working your your way back before they always wanted the magnitude here they give you the magnitude I want you to look for one of these um, dotted terms which was theta dot in this case alright guys I hope this problem helped I hope this section was super useful um, the next chat the next section which we'll be doing um, working with the police that's another crucial section because we're going to be seeing that a lot in chapters like I think 13 and 14 most likely um, but yeah hopefully this video helped you guys um, appreciate when you guys give me any feedback or anything like that it's always appreciated um, don't forget to subscribe and take it easy guys I'll see you in the next video